All right. I'm hoping this. Oh, there we go. Hi, and uh, welcome to uh, my series here on assistive technology in the classroom. Uh, earlier in my uh, podcast and in my videos, we talked to Ms. Brenda Schmidt, our LRP uh, teacher here at Archbishop M. Sunil Catholic High School about assistive technology. And now I'm really lucky to be joined by my good friend Nico. Uh, Nico, uh, has, I've known him his whole entire uh, high school career. Him and I go way back. And uh, I'm really excited about asking you a few questions, Nico, about how uh, you use assistive technologies in your learning. So um, what are what are some of the main ways you use assistive technologies uh, in your learning and what are some of the tools that you use? Um, the main reason why I use assistive technologies are because I, I am unable to do certain things with that other people can, like writing. Sometimes my handwriting is too messy for teachers to read and and it it can affect my grades and it's and that's why I always type or 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 do things that other people don't don't so you have your own computer and you can do all your assignments on the computer and it's just easier to, to type uh, than yeah. to handwrite for you. Mm -hmm. You know, I like what you said there too, because um, I know I've worked with you for such a long time. I know you're a smart man and it's great that uh, something like a computer can help you get your message across, you know, to other people and, and communicate because I know you have so many good ideas and great things to share. So like, uh, so with that computer, is that something that the school provided for you or is that something uh, that your parents provided for you or you provided for yourself? Uh, could you repeat? I, was saying, I know you use your computer a lot. Is that something that the school provided or did they only provide until you hit high school or did your parents buy you one or did you buy your own computer or um, how did you get uh, your hands on that? Uh, a piece of uh, access uh, of uh, assistive technology. Um, well, after when I started high school, I decided I don't don't need the the um, the the computers that they gave me. I I decided to to um, get my own because I also wanted to have a have something to play on to as well, so I decided right. to get get my own laptop. And last year, I decided I wanted a touch screen because I figured out that it's really hard for me to to write math equations in the OneNote. So my dad, me and my dad, I originally got a Chromebook. But then my dad gave me his old Surface Pro, so so he so it it really helped me this year. Cool. Yeah. No, I saw. I've seen it in action because you were in my math class, and to see the work he did on it was fantastic. And I definitely saw how that uh, helped. Um, so, how, have teachers been pretty good uh, through your journey through elementary and high school with uh, helping you out with? Uh, your needs with assistive technology? Yep. Yeah. Um, in grade 10, during my second ELA, I I typed mostly everything that I can do in ELA, and I and he understood my my ELA teacher understood why I'm doing it, and he they, he really helped me out because. Because he sometimes sent me the I when I asked I when I asked if I could type and he said yes sure go ahead and teachers are really understanding to me towards me when I ask if I can I'm able to type or use my computer. Awesome, cool. Are there any other things besides the computer that you use for assistive technology? Or just mainly um, the computer. I do use my something that Microsoft 
developed the Xbox adaptive controller. I used it. I use it for Minecraft and I use it for playing games. <laughs> um, cool. It, it's really yeah. um, helpful to have that. Yeah, well, I know with you and I and some of the projects we worked on, and I get to brag you up. Uh, you know, you've made so many amazing things in Minecraft, like the pandemic hospital and uh, your English game and your roller coasters and everything and your st uh, Canada story and stuff. And uh, it's cool that you had a controller that allowed you to build because you've got a great imagination, my friend, and you're a very good builder and you you you, you do really good work in there. I'm, I'm glad that you have that opportunity to do that. Um, as I know, I'm really excited. I'm going to stick around teaching for a while because uh, I definitely want you to intern with me because you said that you want to be a math teacher and I definitely think you'd be amazing and I think that uh, you know you'd bring a lot to to teaching and stuff too uh, you know and you'd have a really important story to share about how you know you've overcome some things using assistive technology and I think you you know you're doing fabulous you're just a good guy to hang out with too. <laughs> Do you want to say anything else uh, before we wrap up this interview uh, about assistive technology in, in general and, and what it does for students? Uh, could you repeat? Yeah. Is there something you'd want to just last words you want to say about assistive technology and how it can help students? Um, um, I'm not really sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I, I think you've been a success story because... Uh, of how well you're doing like you got the math award uh, last year for workplace 30 like and because of assistive technology we get to see you shine and, and to see all the things that you can do because you can do a lot so that's definitely why i i like seeing assistive technology and i'm glad you, you've found the tools and the comfort zone you need to to just do what you do which always you inspire me my friend and uh, i'm very proud of you so um yeah, thanks a lot, Nico, and uh, thanks for sharing your story with me and my classmates. And uh, yeah, so that's been uh, Assistive Technology with Dean. It's my friend Nico, and uh, thanks for watching. That was perfect, Dean.